remember I told you I was born and raised among Masons and Eastern Stars, the African, the AME Church, African Methodist Episcopal choirs, gospel choirs. Now they're not hell raisers like Southern Baptists, but definitely the preacher would definitely fire and brimstone and and inspire you, right? Um, for me, what black people in this country need, I think Jesus has been our worst enemy. Politically speaking, because remember now, through the times of slavery, wherever they brought you from, all Christianity and stuff was imposed on us. You know, it was forced on you. You couldn't, we're both slaves, you couldn't speak Bantu, I couldn't speak this, we had to speak this, so this motherfucker understand it. We couldn't bring our stuff, because Jesus will save you. So my thing was, that whole system wasn't designed to save us, it was designed to pacify us and to keep us in. So what makes you think that I think that this blonde, blue-eyed deity is here to save me? This whole system was not designed to save me. Apart from the fact that if you really read the King James Version of the Bible, it will even let you know you're your own hypocrite because he had hair of wool and skin of bronze, as you say. Okay, there's no way, all right, you have more melanin than him. There's no way he's going to stay in Saudi Arabia in that part of the land and stay like that for a whole day. He's going to be darker. Okay, so if you're asking me, why don't I accept that? Because I'm saying politically and, and as what's good for a people, it wasn't designed to save us. So what makes you think that I think Jesus is going to save me? African religion to me was the study of natural herbs and things so we can heal ourselves. I don't have to go to the doctor to heal myself. I can go in the yard. I can. So that was my main reason for dealing with this. Apart from my love, the music brought me in. But as far as theology, my main reason was political. Jesus wasn't designed to save black people. It's to keep you in. I said, for seven days a week, for I don't know how many hundreds of years, you go into church and in church pews, you religiously, excuse me, white man still got his foot up your ass and you still on welfare. I have yet to see anybody be saved. Except for the manifest manifestation in your own mind that Jesus is dead, but you help you you held you healed yourself from your mind. That motherfucker didn't save you, wasn't designed to save you, still ain't. So if you're asking me, that that's the main reason why I'm dealing with the religion. Besides my love for the music, my political reason for supporting African-based theology. I don't think that theology was, was designed to save people of color. Uh, at the same time, I also, whatever floats your boat, if this is the discipline you need that's going to make you a better person in life and good father to your children, good man, go ahead. You know, so I'm not trying to be like this. But my political views, I don't think that the whole Christian thing was designed to, to, to save us at all. All I see is strife still. Just like when I went to church, the church this morning and picked up the food, you know. It's a beautiful thing that church people are doing. And I know what love is, you know. But Jesus ain't loved me. Miss Betty loved me. Miss Vicky loved me. Okay, now if Miss Vicky got God in her heart for whatever she want to call God, and that moved her to, hey man, Skip is hungry today, let's go feed him. That's still Miss Vicky doing it. I ain't seen Jesus do a goddamn thing. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's wrong or right, but that's how I feel about it. I can't expand on that too much.